coming back at you with another review and tonight uh, talking about and reviewing the 2018 film Replicas stars Keanu Reeves and this one right off the bat I just felt this was a misfire I'm a big fan of Keanu Reeves you know especially as of late you know with the John Wick movies you know I do look forward to John Wick 4 um, I know he's currently working on The Matrix 4 and he's got Bill and Ted 3 coming out this year, so we'll see about that one. But like I said, I thought this one was just a misfire. The plot, I'll just read off the back here. You have Keanu Reeves, who stars as William Foster, and is a neuroscientist on the verge of transferring human uh, consciousness into a computer when his beloved wife and children are tragically killed in a car crash. Uh, desperate to resurrect his family, William recruits a fellow scientist to help secretly clone their bodies and create replicas. Uh, when William learns that he can only replicate three of the four uh, family members, he makes a decision with fateful uh, consequences. And like I said, that's pretty much the plot of the film. And yeah, certainly I feel that Keanu has done better um, and you know the film starts off with him doing this test on a replica and even the replica in the film you know like in the beginning the CGI is very shoddy like to me I think it was done better in iRobot <laughs> to me that's better you know special effects um, where he's doing this test on this military guy that died and he freaks out when his memory is transferred into this replica and he kills himself and then like I said you know Keanu Reeves' family gets killed in this accident and he wants to clone their bodies but at one point too in the first act you know he has to make a decision because the scientist who helps him out only brings back like three pods and so there's one point in the movie where like he picks names out of a bowl like you know his family members and which one he has to sacrifice so I'm like really like you gotta you know what you know pick your name like pick a name out of a bowl <laughs> I mean yeah I didn't really I didn't really care for this character much um this character that Keanu played but yeah, he makes that decision to, you know, clone his wife, clone his son, his one daughter, the youngest daughter he had to sacrifice. And the organization that he works for, you know, you find out that, you know, they have different motives that, you know, they're the villains of the film. And I thought the villain, the guy who played the villain in the film, I thought he was very weak. And, you know, that's really, I mean, when you talk about the cast, Keanu Reeves in the film, acting-wise, he's not bad. I mean, but at the same time, you don't really care for this character much because, you know, like, he clones his family. And even that, like, the aspect of cloning his family, I thought, you know, when you talk about cloning... If I want to watch a movie about cloning, I watch The Sixth Day, you know, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. To me, that's a better movie. I think that's better than this movie, The Sixth Day with Arnold. Um, so he clones his family, you know, again, his son, his daughter, and then, you know, they start to discover that, you know, their memories are not what they seem, and um, because, you know, of sacrificing the younger daughter in the film... You know, he doesn't clone her. But, you know, Keanu Reeves, like I said, uh, getting back to him, you know, acting, he's not bad in the film, acting-wise, but when you get to the supporting cast, um, to me, the supporting actors and such, they weren't that good. I mean, the scientist who helps Keanu Reeves, I mean, the guy, the actor, wasn't that bad. I mean, he was there... But like I said, you know, the villain I thought was very weak in the film. And a bad actor that they chose to play the villain. 
Uh, the wife, you know, she was there, but, you know, acting wise, it wasn't much to it. Um, so I would say, I mean, out of the cast, you know, again, Keanu Reeves, he's there, but at the same time, you don't really care for his character much. Um, and the supporting characters, the supporting cast, um, the acting's not that good. Um, the pacing of the film, it's about, you know, 100 and, see, 107 minutes, what's that? I mean, 100, and, but I swear, 140 minutes, but I swear the film cuts off at like 10 minutes before the credits roll, so the film ends at like an hour and 35, and then you have like 10 minutes of credits, um, no joke. <laughs> Uh, so, but, I don't know, just the pacing I didn't care for. The guy who directed this film, Jeffrey Nakamoff. Let me see if I can pull this guy up. This uh, director, Jeffrey Nakamoff. I'm probably butchering it, but... This guy, he would go on to write, let's see, he wrote the screenplay for day, The Day After Tomorrow. So yeah, the guy who directed this film uh, wrote the screenplay for The Day After Tomorrow and Traitor, which I've never seen Traitor. The Day After Tomorrow is an okay flick, okay disaster movie. Um, lately, he's been producing a lot of TV shows like Chicago PD. Uh, he was the producer of The Tourist with uh, Johnny Depp. And the, the writers, we had one writer. The guy who wrote the film, Chad St. John, he would have gone to write uh, Peppermint with, uh, with uh, Jennifer Gardner, which I do have that film. He also wrote London Has Fallen. And he's currently working on a comedy with uh, Kevin Hart. So he's writing that. But I thought the script here was just weak. And I didn't really care for the story that much. I mean, it's like you can see... You can see some potential there, but the script I thought was weak. The execution I thought was weak. And I just think they just misfired on this idea and this concept and even at times you know it just it's depressing because you know Keanu's trying to again clone his family so he can transfer their memories and you know so and even the scientist friend in the film his buddy is like you know you're crazy what are you doing um you know so even he thinks, you know, Keanu Reeves' his character is crazy in the film. But again, you know, going back to the script, I thought, you know, it was a weak story, a weak script. Um, Action-wise, you're not going to get a lot of action in the film. Even, even the replicas, I mean, you have that one, you know, scene in the beginning, and then you have that one scene at the end where, you know, Keanu Reeves... He transfers his memory to one replica so he can get his, you know, his family out because the villain had kidnapped, you know, or taken the family or, you know, had the family at gunpoint. So, you know, he transfers because there's even one scene in the film where Keanu is sitting on the toilet and he does an experiment on himself to, I guess, get his memory or extract some memory bank like some memory and if you've seen the film you know what I'm talking about but so you don't get much of the replicas you know these things right here in the film I guess because of budget um, because like I said you know even the beginning you know the special effects the CGI is very shoddy uh, I think you know it looked better in iRobot you know those machines and the film's budget, I mean, it had a $30 million budget. 
and box office only made 9.2 million so and apparently I was reading some of the trivia and Nicolas Cage Nicolas Cage uh, turned down this movie and this this won't be the only count of well I'm actually going to review another account of film next, which I haven't seen, Siberia. So I'm going to review that next. And that's another film that Nicolas Cage uh, turned down, Siberia, with uh, Keanu Reeves. But yeah, Nicolas Cage turned down this film. He turned down Siberia, or Siberia, which I'll talk about next. Um, so... Yeah, the story and screenplay for Replicas was developed at Keanu Reeves and Stephen Hamill's production company, Company Films. And so, yeah, I mean... And there's even, like, certain scenes in the film that reminds me of uh, Johnny Mnemonic, which, as odd and as offbeat that film is, you know, I'd rather watch that than Replicas again. <laughs> Because you at least have Keanu Reeves, you have Dolph Lundgren, you have some interesting visuals in the film, even if the film is, again, offbeat, and it's, it's a weird movie, but I'd rather watch that a little bit more. This is like the weak version of, it's like a more weaker version of John Mnemonic, um, but not as, doesn't have that, you know, some visuals in here, I mean, there's some interesting visual shots, but when you, again, when you get to the replicas, they don't look that good. <laughs> um, looks very shoddy. And I just thought the direction was weak, and again, weak, weak, uh, weak script. Mentioned that. At the end of the day, I just thought replicas was a misfire for uh, for Keanu Reeves, and Again, I'm a big fan of Keanu. I mean, with John Wick as of late, and, you know, he's on a good streak. But, yeah, this one was definitely a bump in the road. And, again, I just thought, you know, it was a misfire. So, you know, if I want to watch, you know, it just reminded me of other films I'd rather watch, you know, like I, Robot and... You know, The Sixth Day, which I mentioned, and even Chinese Mnemonic, as weird as that is, you know, I'd rather watch that, but, yeah, Replicas, you can skip, I mean, go check out John Wick instead if you haven't seen the John Wick movies, so, but, next I will be reviewing Siberia, so, and I heard that's not much better, but that's my review of Replicas, with Keanu Reeves, um, and if you're wondering, I think it's like a 5.5 on IMDb, so yeah, that kind of sums it up pretty good, but that's my review of Replicas. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a good day.